this is the first segment. I've already recorded the reading for September 30th, 2020. I just want to say it's very important that you watch it all the way to the end. Because as I draw more cards, as I draw tarot and oracles, the whole story just unfolds. Okay? And it's good. So, without further ado. Hello, my Mystic Tribe. This is Mystic Jen. And this is your daily reading for... What day is today? Tuesday. Wednesday. Um, no, uh, I'm really screwing up this. For September 30th, 2020. This is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest behind. These readings are truly timeless. This doesn't have to happen on the 30th exactly. Usually happens within a couple weeks. I've even had some of my subscribers message me or and say, hey, this came true. You did this reading six months ago and here it is. So I'm just putting that out there. And you want to watch us till the end because I do put oracle cards at the end. Sometimes the oracle cards bring up a totally different message for another group of people or they <clears throat> enhance this reading. Okay, so that's we're going to go ahead and see what comes up here. We are pulling a line of five. I like to pull the... Okay, we have the mice. We have the anchor. And this is the Mere Faith Lenormand. We have the clouds. Perfect. The lady. And the snake. I don't know what it is, but the snake card is been playing a prominent role in a lot of the readings lately. Um, granted, with my monthly readings this, for October, it does use half the deck. A highly chance of the snake coming up. But sometimes it, does, it depends on the role that it's playing. And the central issue is somebody being extremely confused or in the dark. Somebody being somebody's judgment might be clouded as well, okay. And one, a, there is a woman who is very confused, and I'm saying a woman because we have the lady card here. If this was a man that was confused, the gentleman or man card would be here, okay. But there is a woman who's very confused about her own stability. Her own security. Uh, I feel as though that she's facing some sort of storm. And she's literally facing that storm. And it involves her stability. And, you know, I, I get the sense of somebody who felt very anchored at one point. And now there's a sense of confusion around it. Um, we have the mice and the snake here. Neither one of these are very pleasant cards. The snake could be somebody dangerous or some th somebody who is very malicious. She could be another woman in a scenario. I'm not feeling her as another woman. I am do, do feel as though that there is some deception going on. It could be a hidden enemy, somebody who is creating mischief because mice creates mischief. And the snake is very slick, right? And this is like, almost like a thief in the night. A lying thief is what I get. Somebody may have had something stolen from them that, and 
I'm seeing dollar signs, so I'm kind of feeling like maybe somebody stole some money. Or somebody lied about a situation that involved theft. But it's like security deteriorating. It is like a breakdown in somebody's security. Security breakdown creating some kind of illusion, some kind of some kind of like unclear thinking. Somebody's faced with a problem and they don't know how to handle it. And I do feel it's monetary. Now the clouds is coming from the anchor. The dark side is to the anchor, which is definitely unsure finances. This could be related to job as well. Maybe there is a job it problem, um, insecurity in employment. But with the light side of the clouds facing the woman, it's like very soon she is going to see things more clearly. And recognize some deception that might have been going on. I am feeling for someone, this could be self-deception. Looking at the glass as half empty instead of half full. There's definitely been some sort of deterioration of finances, which kind of goes hand in hand a lot of people are feeling the pinch right now a lot of people have been unemployed for so long unemployment's run out on them uh and they're kind of at their wits end maybe their employer had suffered and was unable to bring them back this snake could also be false promises somebody may be relying on a promise okay yes your job is secure You'll be brought back as soon as this economic issue, as soon as this, um, I really don't want to say it because YouTube frowns on it, but, you know, the things that have been going on since March with all the sickness and everything else where businesses were forced by the government to close their doors. And I feel like that there, this is definitely affecting a woman. And these false uh, false promises, which is now eating away at her savings, eating, eating away at her finances, having trouble making ends meet. And she's very... Um, this is the insecurities. Insecurities of this woman. If this is not about finances... Some, um, for those of you that are looking for love, relationship, relationship issues, this could be a sense of insecurity and somebody feel, you know, doubting. This is doubts. Somebody doubting their security in a relationship because they have this fear of another woman eating away at things. Or somebody interfering. The other woman or other man does not have to be a third party. I'm not feeling third party here. For once, I'm feeling like a nemesis. I'm feeling like this could be a friend of your significant others putting things in their head. Or somebody putting things in your head that may be falsehoods creating the sense of insecurity and somebody really doesn't understand or see the forest for the trees. But with this illumination on this side, I think that this woman is going to become illuminated and realize the truth to the situation. If that makes sense. Okay. Now I'm going to pull a couple tarot cards.
I said a couple, not a bundle. This is a vampire deck. And, you know, I'm like slowly getting out my Halloween-ish type decks. And make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and comment, please. And check out my community page because I have a special running for my YouTube subscribers. Okay, additional messages and guidance, please, for my Mystic Tribe. All signs. Add to the story or create a new story. We have the Prince of Skulls. This is a learn, learning. A lesson learned. We have the Emperor. This is somebody gaining control back. And somebody's learned their lesson to be careful to what they listen to. And we have the Tower. The Tower is a transformation. And it is an abrupt, sudden development. Sometimes it shakes things up. This could be explosive arguments. Um, the tower is tearing down the old to rebuild. There may have been a situation that was built on false foundations. I've already said false promises. And the emperor can be the boss. He is head of the household. He is the protector. He takes care of everything. Um... He lays down the law. So in the work situation, the center card is the boss. The boss may have made false promises. The boss might be that person. And that now you're not called back yet when you said thought you would be. And your finances are crumbling. And then when it, well, as it's falling, you're realizing that you have to rebuild on a, a more secure foundation. For those of you looking at, and this is a learning lesson, and for those of you, if this is related to love, you've, you're getting back your power. You're laying down your boundaries. There is definitely somebody who is meddling who needs to be kept at bay, that you need to set your boundaries and you know, learn your lesson. Be careful what you listen to because they, and, and crush, aha, crush this nemesis in its tracks. Nip it in the butt. Somebody's definitely interfering and this lady is about to nip it in the butt. And whoever this nemesis is, they're going to find out that everything's going to come crashing down around them. I am being told karma is going to play a role for what they the damage that they have done. There's dam definitely damage control, and with this prince of um, skulls, this is about you know something solid, something secure. This has been a learning lesson. The prince of skulls is representation. He is actually the knight in traditional tarot. Princes are the knights. So it is. this is slow. This is steady progress. This is something that is reliable. And somebody is relying on themselves and taking control. And they are tearing down false foundations, false hopes, false dreams, and they are rebuilding new ones. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull another vampire deck. This is an oracle deck. This is um, House of Night, Wisdom of the House of Night Oracle Cards, based on the book series, which I read all of the books to the series. 
but it was a vampire school. So this deck has a lot of lessons, a lot of wisdom to give. So we're going to get a couple cards from this. High Priestess of Earth. And she is a number three, which is growth. High Priestess of Earth is has similar energy as the Empress. This is knowing her value, knowing her worth, being grounded, being practical, being fruitful. Fruit. Ah, and she is very abundant. Abundant in love. Wow. These two combinations are also telling me that you are going to see physical evidence. A first kiss or some kind of endorment, gifts, hugs. Somebody being very compassionate that is very trustworthy, who is stable, coming into your life. And love is going to be in the air, my friends. And because of this combination, I am going to pull some Romance Angels cards. Definitely have blessings of the heart. Ooh. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So whatever went on here in the past. Now, this could be a liar that you were involved with. Could have been a romantic partner. You know, this is about forgiving them and moving on. So that you can have this abundance of love enter into your life. New love. I said it. New love is on its way. So, there you have it. Abundance of new love is coming. Well, this is what I have for you. Please do make sure, again, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment, and I will see you next time. Blessed be.